friends, and welcome to the production presentation. We are pleased you have selected our program to make you more acquainted with the importance of understanding how production affects not only the well-being of the organization, but also the customers. As a supply chain professional, production processes will directly affect your function and the need to communicate with other departments within the organization. This presentation will give a view of the meaning of production and the role it serves within the supply chain of the organization. Production, also referred to as manufacturing, can be defined as a making of goods for use or sale. Production facilities can vary in size and can be a factory or a warehouse setting. It can be high-tech or manual assemblies. Manufacturing utilizes machines, tools, and human labor to produce the needed goods. Manufacturing facilities can be either product-focused or function-focused. A product-focused facility will produce a particular product but may perform a range of operations. A function-focused production facility will perform a few operations but can make various products. An example of a product-focused production facility would be an automobile manufacturing plant. This type of organization would make automobiles and would need various processes to make the vehicles. An example of a function-focused company would be the supplier of a plastic part that may go to the automobile. This supplier would only make plastic parts, but can manufacture for various industries, not just for cars. Production is a key part of the supply chain process. The supply chain professional must take into account the internal production as part of the total supply chain. Also, the external production, manufacturing done by vendors, would have to be considered. Part of the supply chain function is to ensure the material flow is consistent with the customer demand. If parts have been outsourced and are being manufactured by a supplier, the production process is critical. The supply chain has to consider the time it takes a supplier to produce the parts and to deliver them to your facility. As previously stated, production utilizes machines, tools, and labor. Depending on the type of product being produced, the machines can range in size from tabletop to massive sizes weighing multiple tons. Usually some form of human labor is required to run or oversee the machine operations. Production can sometimes be costly to the manufacturer, from the labor expenses to the maintenance required to keep the machines operatable. Important to the supply chain, however, is the continuous operation of the machinery. Inoperable machinery can cause interruption in the supply chain process, which is costly to the organization. There are times when production consists of only an assembly process. This process generally requires human labor and hand tools. This type of production is less costly to maintain and labor becomes your most valuable part of getting parts produced. Usually as the labor gains a certain level of expertise from performing the assembly tasks and adds value to the process. For example, the longer a laborer does the job repetitively, the more efficient he or she becomes at the task. An increase in efficiencies usually decreases the cost for the organization. The supply chain management professional has to be aware of what production processes affects the organization's ability to get product to the customer. A clear understanding allows for a better planning and a better flow in the supply chain. Communication with production management, or being a key player in the production planning team, is essential to the success of the supply chain management specialist. Thank you once again for your time and attention, and this is MrsTraining.com, where you can earn a master's level qualification to make more money. Thank you.